So my name is Adam Gross and I'm a developer on the Vue product and I designed, implemented, and tested the VMware Boomerang Fling. And the, the inspiration for it came out of when working on Vue, I spend a lot of time working with the vSphere client and multiple VC servers. So I'd have, let's say, five instances of vSphere client open. And I just kind of got sick of having so much, so many windows open, and I thought there was a simpler way to do it. So I designed Boomerang as basically a simple cross-product client that you can just point it at a server and add multiple servers and have it sit in your tray, not have to have a complex UI, but really just be able to do some power operations, connect to console, and, uh, and, and it clear up my desktop, basically. I'm really excited for the release of the VMware Boomerang Fling. I use it a lot when I, um, just in my daily work, when I have to access a lot of different servers, vSphere servers, that, uh, that takes a lot of time. This, this really saves me a lot of time where I can just plug in the name of the server, remember my credentials, and go from there. And so I'm really excited for, for you folks to be able to use this also. So please send me comments, suggestions, or feedback on the Flings page, and I'll, I'll take a look at it. VMware Boomerang is meant to be a lightweight Windows client application that allows you to connect to multiple ESX or Virtual Center servers and quickly interact with the virtual machines on those servers. This video will guide you through the process of using the application. When the application is running, an icon will show up in the Windows tray. You can left-click the icon to bring up the user interface, or right-click to bring up some more options. I will start by left-clicking the icon. As you see, I don't have any servers configured, so I see some instructions and a hyperlink to add the server. Clicking the Add Server link brings up a dialog that I can use to connect to a server and authenticate. First, I enter the server information and click Connect. If the server name corresponds to a valid server, the connection succeeds and I am asked for my username and password. I also see a checkbox that when checked protects and saves my credentials to my computer so I don't need to re-enter them after I reboot my machine. If the authentication is successful, the server will be added, and I will see a list of virtual machines on the server, as I do here. If there are more than 50 virtual machines on the server, the list will initially be collapsed into hyperlinks. If there is a subset of virtual machines that I want to interact with, I can just click one of the hyperlinks to expand only a few of them. Otherwise, I can click the Show All hyperlink to show all of the virtual machines that are on the server. I can now use the scroll bar on the window to scroll through my virtual machines, or I can just type the name of the virtual machine that I want to find on the list. When I click on a virtual machine, the item will expand, and I see a few controls that allow me to interact with it. On the left, I see power operations such as power on, power off, suspend, and reset. On the right, I see a button that allows me to connect to the virtual machine to see the console. Clicking Connect launches the virtual machine with the VMware Remote Console, which is installed as part of the vSphere client. As you see, I just clicked the Connect button and I got a console to the virtual machine. One helpful piece of functionality in Boomerang is the ability to star some virtual machines as favorites for easy access at a later time. This gives me a unified view into virtual machines from multiple different servers. I will star several virtual machines that I use on a regular basis and they will show up under the favorites header at the top of the application. As you have seen, I have already added one server, but I will add another one now. I will select Show All and scroll down to DC3 and add it as a favorite. 
now I see multiple virtual machines from different servers under my favorites list. DC3 from server 4 and the rest of them from server 9. And if you're the kind of person who doesn't like clutter, you can hide all of the other virtual machines by clicking on their headers. And finally, if you no longer want to use a server, you can delete the server from your inventory. Any virtual machines from that server will also be removed from the favorites list. In this case, DC3 will be removed from the favorites.